Yeah, it's just on. Best sound Des designer award. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. What does much. it mean to you? <laughs> what does it mean to me? Um, I think the same way it carries for everyone mm. to feel recognized by um, the people that hold you up and hold you close the most, which for me, everywhere I turn, it's black people. And it's specifically also black women who help um, respond to my messages, my sense of doubt, listen to the music that I send, asking for their opinions, telling me to just keep pressing forward, hearing when you feel tired, when you feel down, all of those things and still holding you up. So um, it feels great to be able to both be celebrated but also be in a room full of so many people, nominees or otherwise, um, that should also be just as celebrated to be honest. So that's what it means. How's the year gone? 2024? How's it been for you? Um, very different to what I thought it was going to be. Right. Um, I did a show this year called Shifters and it was about two people falling in love, um, two black people falling in love. And I think, um, I don't think I know, audiences want to see things like this. Writers want to continue to write things like this. Composers want to make work and lighting designers want to fill the stage with the brightness of what it means to be in that love and show that love. Um, and I didn't expect it to change how I think about the art, but I'm glad it has. And that's what 2024 has done for me. But widely, what it's done, I think it's allowed people to just always believe in possibility. And that thing that you thought that you weren't going to write, just write it. What music or whatever you want to produce, just do it. Like, there really is, there isn't a barrier to your capabilities and your passion, your art, and your dreams, actually. Like, that's what it feels like 2024 ends on. It's possibility and actually execution of that possibility. Yeah. Love that. Shifters, I spoke to people that work with Lynette Lynn yeah. the other day, right? Yeah. And she, and this is, this is I, I, don't, I don't normally divulge these sort of things there, but I just need people to know what type of person she is. Told the conduit to ensure that those who contributed to set design and all the rest of it were given as much light yeah. and shine as everybody else. I yeah. don't get that from every single director or artistic yeah. director. Um, but she made a point of, you know, requesting that you guys be highlighted. Yeah. That's what's required, right? Absolutely. I think a lot of the time people think we've made um, amazing leaps in whatever representation they consider is progress when everybody on stage looks to be from a different background or the cast is predominantly from the same background but they're a global majority cast right but no one's considering who's hanging the lights who's lighting the stage who's making the sound like all of these decisions that are a culmination of the, sh the show the essence of the show itself it isn't just the people performing it's the people that are building up the platform for those people to be able to perform on and I think it's really important to be able to shine a light where it's due um, when there are so many creatives that um, they hold so much weight, they hold so many shows across an entire span that is almost unbelievable and they still consistently deliver and do what they can to serve the writing, to collaborate, to share, to consider what the impact of working on something like this could mean. Because for me, when I'm working, it isn't just about me as a designer, it's about everyone I'm around and what am I doing? How is my work influencing the work of the other creatives around me? And how can I uplift them as well? So it doesn't surprise me she would say something like that. 
more that's power. That's what the future's supposed to look like, right? All right listen, I, as I said, that's what we need. More power to you. All right, congrats again. Thank you so much. We'll